friends, Heather here from The Sewing Loft, and today I have another Halloween-inspired quilt block to add to your library. It's the Silhouette Moon, and it's a patchwork construction, and it's easy to make. Now, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out on any of my new blocks. This block is also perfect to put together with the bat and the jack-o'-lantern. I've gone ahead and cut out all the pieces for my Silhouette Moon block. To get started, we're going to do a little bit of prep work. You're going to need to take all of the squares that we've cut and draw a line from corner to corner. This is going to be our stitch line for different assembly points within the block. So go ahead, take your heat erasing pen and a little ruler and stitch along all of your blocks. This will make it so much easier. Or if you're lucky enough to have a machine that has a guide beam on it, you can actually skip this step and go straight to the next assembly. Since this block utilizes the same technique over and over again, I've gone ahead and pulled out my pieces and we're going to do the technique over and over. So the first thing that we're going to do is utilizing all of the diagrams that are included with the pattern we're going to place our squares in position, okay? And you can see some of my squares have the lines and some of them do not, and that's because I actually have the guide beam on my sewing machine. So we can go ahead and put them all in position and make sure that you're just following the diagram included with the pattern. And then from here, it's just simple assembly. Okay, now I'm going to just stitch right along these lines and make it really quick. With all of your squares stitched, you're just going to trim away your seam allowance, then press each unit as per the instructions included in the pattern. You can see after pressing just how quickly this pattern is coming together. Then it's just a matter of assembling each of these rows. You're going to add your spacer piece that's also included with the pattern. Because we pressed our corners per the directions in the diagram, you can actually see that our seams are going to nest. So go ahead and stitch these together and let's see those perfect points. With our pieces pressed together, let's put these to the side and move on to the construction of our tail. You're going to need your long strip of black and the smaller piece of the moon. And for this one, we, now we didn't do it before in our prep work, but now would be a great time. You can just add that mark from corner to corner and we're going to sew directly along this. This way when we flip it up it'll give us the shape we're looking for. Trim our excess fabric away and give it a quick press. Now it's simply a matter of aligning all of our pieces and joining them together. Okay we're going to just join row to row to row, and you can quickly see how easily that cat came together. With all of our rows stitched, I went ahead and I trimmed my block down to the 12 and a half inch by 12 and a half inch size. Then it's simply a matter of putting each of our squares, our dark squares, in the corner and stitching them right along those seams. This is going to provide the shape and outline of the moon silhouette, and that is going to be the end of our block. So let me go ahead and stitch these together and show you what I mean. Okay, with each of our corners stitched, all we need to do now is trim away that seam allowance and press them outward. Normally I would do this on a 
cutting mat with my rotary cutter, but since we're on camera, I'm just doing it here so that everybody can see. Another thing that you may have noticed is that I'm actually using black thread. That's to prevent any white from showing through on these darker seams, these darker pieces of fabric. So just a quick tip, something that I use um, and you may find helpful. So let me go ahead and give this a quick press and let's take a look at our finished block. And there you have it. You can trim your block down to size if any of your triangle corners get a little bit wonky, but it should be pretty much good to go. For those of you who are looking for even more Halloween inspired blocks, be sure to check out thesewingloft.com for even more. There's a whole assortment of holiday inspired blocks just waiting for you to stitch up.